Hey, hey, hey! Lights of 22 here, and we are back at the witch farm, as you can see. Well, to start this episode off, to start off today, I want to light up all of the area around here. So, you can sort of see up that pillar there. We need to make a circle around this platform and make all this unspawnable because currently at nighttime, all the slams filling up with monsters and that completely ruins our witch farm rates. So, we're going to get cracking. I'll start just doing a torch run and I'll put every second of it on video. It's going to be the most exciting video ever. Just kidding. They're not lighting it up. That would be boring. <laughs> Hopefully I don't crash the server. There we go. <laughs> well, the server survived. It wasn't quite as spectacular as I was hoping. That was 11 stacks of TNT. <laughs> Okay. I wasn't sure what that was going to look like because I've never used that quantity of TNT before. <laughs> it was fun. So we'll begin this episode actually by messing around with TNT. I'm going to mess around with different heights. Hopefully in the future I can actually see what's going on. But blowing stuff up, always fun. Here we are with a bit more TNT placed down this time. I am built myself a little platform so that we can get a closer view and hopefully see everything as it happens. And look at this, I even have a blast shield. This glass will protect me. <laughs> Ooh, I, how I love TNT. I don't think I'll ever get tired of that. Sorry that I stopped speaking. I literally, like, you know, draw, jaw dropping? I just literally had that happen. My jaw dropped and I couldn't talk throughout the entire thing. That was awesome. <laughs> Woo, let's do more. <laughs> Getting a bit close and personal this time. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> we survived! Oh yes. This is beautiful. Oh, and we got all the TNT. <laughs> I'm loving this. This is brilliant. Bloody brilliant. I'm not even British and I can say that. Okay. Okay, maybe we're getting a little bit too. Uh, uh. Worth it. Completely worth it. I managed to get that all cleaned up from that last little TNT accident, and we're back to play with some more TNT. Let's light this on up. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oops. Well. <laughs> Okay, so that didn't work quite as well as I was hoping. So I'll explain what I was trying to do there. <laughs> oh, wow, I just got an adrenaline rush from that. I should get outside some more. Wait, that... I'll go on to that tangent. Let's just go on to that tangent. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I managed to get an adrenaline rush from this. But you might be like, oh, what a loser, getting adrenaline rushes from video games? But, like, oh, do some other stuff with your life. 
that just this morning I was out doing rock climbing, because that's my big other hobby besides gaming, and wow. And yeah, I spent like 20, I'm like 20 feet above the ground and holding on by my fingertips. And if I fall, I, I'm i falling 20 feet to the ground because there was some run out, if you know rock climbing. But I can explain that in the future if you're curious. But what was it? But yeah, and that doesn't give me an adrenaline rush. So hanging on by my fingertips 20 feet above the ground, whatever. This, like, my blood's still pumping from it. We'll definitely need to try that again. What I was trying to do was do an F5, like, this view running away with the explosion going off behind me. But, as you saw, I just completely failed and he's saying a whole bunch of stuff to me. I'm ignoring him because I can't talk and read at the same time. But yeah, so that was exciting. Let's go up here. We'll look around, look at what's all's happened. And probably call it quits on blowing stuff up for today for this episode because as fun as it is and as much as I would love to spend an entire episode doing this we should probably not do it all in one day and so I'll save it for future and we'll just do this throughout a bunch wow and I'll also explain what my goal here is I'm planning on Yep, I'm planning on blowing up this whole circle, like I said, to stop spawning, but because that's not overkill enough, we're going to make an entire crater. I mentioned before, why well, you probably know, mobs spawn in a sphere around the player. I'm planning on making a crater about the size of that sphere, because it will look really cool, and it will keep me from having to find all the caves. Because if I don't do something like that, I'll be like, oh no, what if I don't have a cave? Well, what if I didn't light up a cave, and... I'll just be worried about that. With this, well, there won't be any caves left. But, yeah, well, I think we're done here. We'll be done with the witch farm for today. I want you to take you back to the fort that we were working on a few episodes, my home base, and we'll go through that. I should probably read all of the stuff that Mew's saying, because it looks like he's been telling me a lot. I just got back here, and... Wow, this is way bigger than I remembered. It's only been like four or five days since I've been here, but yeah, this doesn't work for my plans. Well, for exactly my plans. So now over the last few days, I have done a little bit of thinking and I want to explain what my thought process is over here. So the first thing is I like, I always like having a little bit of story. Well. It's something like the witch farm, I don't need it, because it's a farm for the sake of the farm. I just want it to look nice and clean and be really functional. But something like this, where it's more all about the building and looking good, I like to make a story. I like a backstory to it, and so I like to name it just because I'm weird like that. So I found out, figured out a name. This is going to be the Forgotten Fort, and... The whole swamp here is going to be the Forsaken Fen. If you can't tell, I like alliteration. But, yeah, so the basic idea is, well, since it's already overgrown, because when I built this, I didn't have any idea what it was going to be for. All I knew is, it looks cool, let's build this. And now that's overgrown and everything, I feel like being forgotten, forsaken, that makes sense, so it... It's like an old fort that was really powerful, or whatever, but an old fort that used to be a center of, like, a city in here, in the swamp, or at least a town. City's probably the wrong word. Like an outpost in the swamp. And then it got left, because it wasn't needed anymore, and it became overgrown. But then the people who, like, the desperate and... The outcasts of society come here and live here and to sort of build up on it. So what I'm planning on doing is building houses on top of and on the side of the fort, sort of like it's like almost shanty town, except being Minecraft, I'm going to make it look a lot nicer than shanty town. But yeah, so basically like the homeless, the forsaken, 
Hence Forsaken Finn. Um, the outcasts, those sorts of people, outcasts from society, have come over here and built up around this fort. And they've made their own community here. Now, okay, yeah, I was asking some questions, looking for some sponges to clear out the swamp. Yep. Um, yes, yeah, so this will be sort of a shanty town, sort of, and build up on the fort. So this is just, that's what I meant by, like, this is just the foundation of my build. Now, what I was planning was having a big grand entrance hall. That still will happen. I want a grand entrance hall in here. And then I was, well, this was the plan that won't quite work. I was thinking, like, oh, the entire center can be a storage room. No, this is huge. So I definitely want a central storage room, though. I'll put a storage room in here have a big grand entrance hall and then I want some farms like bigger farms in here I know I want potion like a big brewing area in one of these wings and I'll put all these small farms throughout I was thinking about putting small farms in sort of like the shanty town around it but now that I'm looking at how big it is I might just fill this fort with the farms and have everything on the outside for purely for instead I can't pronounce words aesthetics aesthetics Aesthetics. Okay. For Lux. So in here might be just like a winding corridor where it's like, oh, take a right and there's a snow farm. Take a left and you have your melon farm and just all those sorts of things. That's what my thought is now. Plus having it be, I think it's nine blocks tall. Yep, nine blocks tall. Narrow corridors can look really cool. Like three wide corridors are nine blocks tall. It gives you sort of a claustrophobic yet grand feel at the same time sort of like a yeah like a grandness that's faded into the past is what i'm going for and i think i'll probably do some laying out of this i need to well this will take a lot of planning but i'm liking the idea of putting farms in here just like lots and lots of different sorts of redstone farms and I think that's all I wanted to say about this. I think the first thing might be to work on the storage room in the center, just because I like having storage. I'll either start working on the storage room or the entrance hall. And you'll get to see this as it progresses. I'm sure all of these plans I'm telling you, well, all these plans I'm telling you are very fluid. This is sort of my build process. I start with a general idea and then I'll change it as I go. And... Yep, I'll get to work on those and catch you up once I finish. Here's an update. As you can see, I decided to work on the entrance rather than work on the storage room. So, got the floor, to, well, floor mostly done. I'm going to put yellow hardened clay in all of these little X's, but I don't know how to get to the mesa biome, so I can't get more hardened clay, so I can't do that yet. I'll get around to it though, and that's the floor pattern, incorporates lights, which is nice, so I don't have to worry about lighting anymore, and I've set up the blank canvas for the wall, especially when I'm doing something big like this, I'm just going to make the inside a little bit smaller, and just give myself a nice wall to work with, rather than trying to incorporate all of the like, yellow hardened clay, the logs, all the crack stone, all that sort of stuff into the interior. If you're doing a smaller build, you do have to do that, but for a bigger one like this, you don't. And I also want to just show you my quick design I have set up here. Oh, that is not it. And this is the pillar design. I did all this designing in creative mode because doing this in survival would just be a pain because creative it's nice being able to fly around and quickly change what you've built that right there is what the pillars will look like i'll also work on this so what i'll do is i'll definitely do all the pillars off camera and i'll probably do this i'm going to be putting an armor stand in here and a little decoration piece yeah i'll do that off camera as well so when i come back 
all of the pillars will be in and all of the like, in-between little decoration pieces. Progress has been made. And good morning. The sunrise, sing it through the door. But yep, I finished off the pillars, decorated the walls, just little detailing with stairs, um, armor stand, I'll put some glass in front of it. I just didn't have glass on me. I'll collect that before next episode. I'm also going to put banners on both sides of this. Yet I'm not sure what banner design to use, so that will probably be taken care of next time. We'll figure that out. And right here I was in between using either redstone lamps or paintings. They both looked about the same, but there was plenty of light in the room and I wanted the excuse to use paintings because those pretty much never get used anymore now that there's so many other block textures in the game. And what else? Oh, obviously this door needs to get fixed. Well, needs to get improved along with this part of the wall. And I forgot last time, there's going to be a probably just mirrored door over here. The ceiling looks a bit flat. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe adding some lights, like chandeliers coming down, some things like that. Um, I'll think about that. I'll get that figured out. Ah, brains. And now I'm on fire for the next 30 seconds. But, yep, yeah, that's a bit flat. Fix that up. And maybe putting something in here. If I don't come up with anything, I'll probably just make bushes coming through the floors. Something like that. That also brings up another point. I still don't know whether or not I want the interior overgrown. Obviously the exterior is, but I might just do a weird change from exterior being all overgrown and interior all nice. Doesn't make much sense, but from a build perspective it looks nice. I'll use it or do it that way. I believe that's everything I had to say, and we'll keep doing this for the next episode. I'm really excited, gotten really inspired by this. Lots of good ideas going through my head. And, yep, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.